Okay, we usually keep deer blocks up. They're deer antler blocks to um, help the deer and stuff grow good, strong antlers and whatnot. And they get it to a certain point and then they kick it around and it usually ends up rolling down the hill down by us. Well, we've noticed that it's not down the hill. And we know that there was a chunk of it left. That was rolled down towards the bottom of the hill. Yeah, that had they had already rolled part way down. And so this morning I was watching out the window. Anyways, my camera just shut itself off. Um, we saw up the hill there were some deer standing in the same spot doing like they normally do when they're eating on the block. So we're going to go up and see if the block is up there. And then the question is, how did it get there? Because deer don't just... Pick carry stuff up it and up. run with it. Yeah. So we're gonna go and check it out and see what's up go. there. Come on, Jasmine. I'm really curious. Go ahead, talk. Um, really yeah. curious. I know. I'm just saying. I'm really curious as to what the deal is. If that is in fact a block up there, or if it's something else. We'll go walk around and look and see. running over mint oh yeah and I had this all mowed down to nothing it was just ferns I mean not ferns the ferns weren't there that's all brand new it's all gonna die soon anyway so you might have been able to get some uh, fiddleheads It's raining. It's raining. Okay, let's see if the block is up here. Lots of deer poop. Watch where you're walking. Okay, there's where the old mineral block. Oh my gosh, look at the hole they've dug up here. No wonder they like stand on their heads. Oh, there's a caterpillar in there. Okay. As we suspected, it's up here. As we suspected, it's up here. Oh, hello, babies. I'm sorry, I don't need to scare you. I have a deer, a couple of deer. Hi, babies. Hi, mamas. 
I know you guys didn't carry this up here. It's starting to rain on us, but that can only mean one thing, right, honey? Bear. We had a bear run through here. Last night. Seems to be last night. So, look what they've Morning. done. I know. That is crazy. They really like that. Turkeys up there in the bushes. Normally, we keep the deer blocks down underneath those apple trees down it there. It broke everywhere. Did it? Yep. I don't really understand under that why you broke it. There might be some poles right here, honey. You all right, yeah? My poles suspicion here. is bear, which means that it was down by the house somewhere and found it and carried it up. So, something else to be watching out for. No fail army. So, all right, hun, let's uh, let's get these blocks out. And Are you ladies waiting for something? What? We're being watched. She smells that block. There's there's two of them standing down there. They didn't spook off very far. Hey guys, we're bringing you stuff. Hey ladies, where's the babies? Are you not the mamas this time? We have a bunch of bunch of deer, like a little herd that hang out around here. I have three babies, a set of twins and a, and a single baby that we've seen. So we're going to move it. Here's where they're used to it being and they'll probably still dig into the dirt here but um, because it soaks into the ground. It's this block, that last block lasted what? Two years? Two and a half years? Something like that? Like three years put it up here a long time so they last a long time just do it so that they helps keep the fleas and ticks down on the deer yeah it keeps the fleas and ticks down and it also it's just good mineral supply for the for the deer um we did have a big uh die off in the area last year with um blue tongue, blue tongue disease and That's some some, what was that? Oh, chronic waste. That's what it was. And we've been very fortunate that around us, our deer are pretty healthy. And we try to try to manage that and keep them healthy as we can. Give them supplements and whatnot. So, hi girls. Hi there. Man, those are some giant apples up here. You're the big hole right in front of you. Right there. Ooh. Bugs. God, it's got a mouthful of bugs. Are you coming down here? Big chicken, I don't like off camber stuff. Scary heels. Hey girls. Ooh, you lifted a tire right there. What? You lifted a front tire right there. It's called wheeling. Scared me. That's why I'm not in it. Jaspi says I like to come out here. I love sniffing around, huh buddy? You like sniffing around? Jasper. Peppers. You smell all the deer. You smell all the deer. Oh, you're so cute. Here's our old man. Our little old man. Antler box. Antler box. Seems to be looking. Oh, we got some 
deer up the hill looking at us too. Why well, might even be a baby up there? I don't think I can get it, catch it on the camera, but up in there in the trees, there's a little one looking at us going, ooh, dinner time. So we'll leave these little blocks. He threw it down the hill and it kind of broke into a couple pieces. It's a little softer. Now, oh, there's a big rock right there. I have to rem remember that. Coming down the hill like that again. So here if it I is. If I hit it, it'll stop me. Yes, it will. And there is the house. So there's my kitchen window. And I just love, it makes washing dishes a lot more enjoyable. Just watching them. Seeing the babies and the turkeys that come up and eat and all the things. So, anyways, we got that done. Now we're headed off to uh, do some more chores. So, yesterday we started doing some cleanup um, with the pressure washer and stuff, getting uh, summer's ice chests and all of that kind of stuff pressure washed and cleaned up and get some stuff off of the porch and get it um, ready to roll because a week from tomorrow we will be getting our appliances delivered. Took a little break, got some snacks. Now we're headed out to the garden with some containers to do some picking before dinner because we've got stuff to pick. Okay, so it's getting late in the season. Things are starting to look kind of sad and tired. It's been getting down into the 40s a few times at night, so some of these things are getting tired, but we do have some squash. And I believe that there's a couple more zucchini somewhere down in there. Um, lots of green beans, lots of cucumbers still, lots of tomatoes, and look at these, those are one each, one tomato, crazy, so We'll, we'll leave the green ones on for a little while longer and see, but lots of green beans and lots of other stuff to do. A few more spaghetti squash. Got that already. I've given a couple away, a few away actually. Sharing, and then we've got some cucumbers, more cucumbers down. Oh, there's some big ones down there. Some funny shaped ones here. And a few more spaghetti squash that we'll be picking, so. Better get after it and then go make some dinner. There's another butternut. Won't really have time to do much. 
That's as far as size, because the, they are going to start shutting down. So here we go. Raining beans. Really? Who's gonna pick those up? Not me. Yeah, exactly. Me will. Gotta move your camera. One, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten beans. Oh, he went for a ride. Is that the right way? Take it in and then we'll... Hey! Where'd it go? <laughs> this one right here? <laughs> yeah, he's... Uh, I don't, hang on. If I let it drop, I won't be able to retrieve it. Ouch. Go down. Drop it. Woo, I didn't drop it. I'm stuck. Whew. There we go. It'll ripen. It's sometimes I think they cross with other things and start looking weird like that, but they, they turn orange, see? Feel orange. So alright, well we're gonna go make some dinner. Call it a day because we've got some busy, busy days ahead.